and I've never tried one like this before. I've had the normal batter ones, I've had the potato ones, but the ramen one is very new to me. The first bite, like the crunch was so satisfying. Mm. Hi everyone, in today's video, we are doing trying every Korean corn dog in the Bay Area. So in my last video of the series, trying every mochi donut in the Bay Area, I got some of you guys requesting a Korean corn dog episode. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I've had a few Korean corn dogs in my lifetime. I wouldn't say I'm like an expert on them, but I think actually after today's video, I might you know, refine my Korean corn dog palette. And hopefully I can tell you guys which place has the best Korean corn dogs. As always, I'm taking your suggestions in the comments of what you guys wanna see in this series of trying every blank in blank. In the past, I've done trying every boba shop in San Francisco, East Bay, South Bay, trying every Shalom Bao in San Francisco and South Bay, trying every ice cream shop in San Francisco. Like we've done a lot on this channel. So definitely feel free to leave your suggestions in the comments. And yeah, if you guys are excited for this video, make sure you hit the subscribe and the thumbs up and let's just get right into the video. All right, so we just stopped by the first stop, which was a Seoul Hot Dog in Berkeley. And this place I think is really, really close to campus. It's in like a little food court type of thing. So that's pretty cool. And they were super nice over there. They were so sweet. I asked them what was their most popular and they said the mozzarella and sausage. And I also got it with spicy batter because it was an extra 80 cents and I needed to hit the $5 credit card minimum because I don't bring cash around with me. So yeah, it looks really, really good. They also coated it in some sugar Sugar, and I also tried to put some ketchup on it. They didn't really have the squeezy bottles, so I tried my best to make it look nice, which um, I don't think I did the best job, but you know, it's all about how it tastes. <laughs> so let's go ahead and try it. Let's see if we can get a cheese pull. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my God. Mmm. 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 That cheese pull was on point. And oh my gosh, the batter is so crunchy, like so crispy and crunchy. The sugar complements it very nicely. I do think it goes really well with the ketchup as well. I can see here that there's a little bit of spicy, maybe like a red pepper flake or something. That is legit so good. All right, I finally got to the hot dog part. Let's go ahead and try that. Mm. I do actually like how this one alternates between the mozzarella and the hot dog because I just feel like a whole thing of cheese would be a bit too much. It's like nice to have a variety of things in here. I haven't had one of these in so long and I'm about to eat so many today. <laughs> I'm trying to like mentally prepare for that. <laughs> but yeah, this is a really, really good start because this is delicious. Okay, so I think for the rating, I would give the batter like, I don't know, a solid eight out of 10. I feel like it's pretty crunchy. I do like the addition of the spicy batter. I did get a little bit of a kick and the overall flavor I would probably give a solid eight as well. It's very yummy. I want to eat more but I'm stopping myself because we're going to eat a lot more of these today. But yeah, let's head to the second stop. All right, so we just stopped by the second stop, which was Sticks in SF. And it took me 40 minutes to get here from Berkeley. And we have a lot more places to go, like all the way in the South Bay too. So I'm realizing that this video is gonna cost me a lot of gas money. But anyway, oh my gosh, it comes in this little cute container thing. Like it has a little divot for the stick. So this one that I got is the ramen one like as you can see on the outside it's literally coated in ramen and i got this one with both mozzarella and hot dog and i've never tried one like this before i've had the normal batter ones i've had the potato ones but the ramen one is very new to me and it was pretty pricey after tax and stuff the total was like 815 which is like kind of a lot for this one hot dog but at the same time it is sf and we all know how sf prices can be i'm so excited to try this let me try to put some ketchup on it i tried my best to do a little zigzag all right let's just go ahead and try it that's really interesting <laughs> Wow, I have to say it is a lot more crunchy 
I'm guessing it's because the ramen is probably fried along with the batter and it's just really, really crunchy. Like the first one, it was more crispy and this one is more crunchy, if that makes sense. I think because this one has both the batter and all the ramen on the outside, it actually makes it taste pretty bland. I feel like you can't really appreciate the batter as much when it has like all this ramen on it. So I feel like I actually prefer it without the ramen. It's cool to try it though. The hot dog that they use in this one is actually a lot better than the hot dog in the first one. This one is a lot more like beefy and juicy and actually pairs really well in this. I think it's because it's pretty salty and like I said earlier, like the ramen kind of makes it a little bit bland, so it helps balance it out. Overall, I'm happy that I tried the ramen thing. Personally, I prefer it without the ramen, but I'm still glad I tried it. And I think you guys should try too if you ever come across it, just to see if you like it. So I'd say for the batter, I'd probably give it like a six. And for the overall flavor, I think I would give it like a 6.5, maybe a seven, especially with this hot dog in it. So yeah, we're gonna head to the third stop. Okay, so we just went to the third stop, which was Mochi Nut in San Mateo, but they also have locations in San Francisco as well as Hayward, and they're going to be opening in San Jose as well. So they're gonna be like all over. You guys might recognize this place from my trying every mochi donut in the Bay Area video. And apparently they also sell Korean corn dogs. So today we're gonna be trying those. But before we get into this, I also got a boba drink. I didn't even know they sell boba there, but I saw on their menu that they serve it in these cute like soda can things. And I am a sucker for cute packaging, cute bottles. So I really just couldn't resist. I got the ube milk tea with brown sugar boba. You can see on the top there, it has like the soda can type of thing, you know? <sighs> just like opening a can of soda, but it's a can of boba. <laughs> You guys already know, we gotta use our Feed May May reusable glass boba straw. Link is in the description as always. Okay, yeah, the boba is pretty hard. The ube milk tea actually tastes more like taro milk tea, like the powdered taro milk tea. So I'd say it's pretty much powdered taro milk tea with boba that's pretty hard. <laughs> At least the packaging was cute, right? <laughs> Anyway, moving on from that, here we have their sausage and mozzarella corn dog with hot Cheetos. I love hot Cheetos. I also got it with sugar. I don't know if I was supposed to. I just feel like if you're getting a Korean corn dog, you should get sugar on it, but maybe that was a mistake. I don't know. So yeah, let's go ahead and try this out. Mmm. Wow. I gotta say, I do love the addition of the hot Cheetos, especially since it's like what's coating the outside. It's the first thing to hit your tongue. You get filled with that hot Cheetos flavor. Oh, whoa. It looked like it had so much cheese at first, but then there's actually this whole part that has no cheese. So then you would have to eat like this whole part without cheese and it would just be batter, which is kind of unfortunate. And also this batter is really, really thick. I would not say it's like light and fluffy. And if you guys could tell by when I bit into it, it's definitely not as crispy as the other places we've tried so far. If you can see in there, that layer of batter on the outside is really thick and the batter is really bready, not light and fluffy at all. So besides the fact that this one has hot Cheetos, I actually have to say this is not, definitely not the best, probably the worst one we've tried so far today. So overall, I would say for the batter, I have to give it like a five if even that, I feel like a five is even generous. And the flavor, I mean, really the saving grace is the hot Cheetos. So I feel like I would give it like a seven. Without the hot Cheetos, it'd probably be like five. Well, I was kind of expecting more from this, but we do have some more places to go. I think those will be better actually. So let's head to the fourth stop. All right, so we just stopped by the fourth stop, which was Myeongrang. I hope I said that correctly. This place is in Main Street Cupertino, which has a lot of other really good Asian food. Like it has Somi Somi, it has Meat Fresh, Heidi Lao, which is one of my favorite hot pot places ever. So I actually come here quite often, but I never really go to Myeongrang. So it's gonna be my first time. And I got this squid ink hot dog because on the menu they recommended it. And they have a lot of different kinds of sauces and they put like sauce combination recommendations, which I really, really appreciated because whenever I go to these places, 
sauces, I never know which sauces to put. The sign recommended ketchup with cheddar cheese sauce. So that's exactly what I got. And I of course got it rolled in sugar. So this one, I think the batter is like black from the squid ink. And it also has these little cute like squid feet, tentacles, I think. <laughs> so yeah, let's give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, that's really good. It's so nice and crispy. The first bite, like the crunch was so satisfying. Mmm. Mmm. I'm not exactly sure how much the squid ink part adds to it. I can't really taste a distinct difference, but it's still really, really good. I feel like even though I got the cheddar cheese sauce with it, I can't taste it that much. Like I primarily taste ketchup from the sauces, but it's still really good. I, of course, love the sugar on top. Let me try to get to that uh, sausage part. Mm. They literally put so much cheese in here. I love it. Like cheese pull for days. Hot dog's pretty good, very, very juicy. So yeah, I'd say for the batter, I do like how it's not too thick. I think the squidding thing is pretty cool. And I like how light and crispy it is. Like when you bite into it, it's just so satisfying. So I really like that. I'd say I give the batter probably like an 8.5. And then the overall flavor is pretty good. So I think I would give the flavor an eight. <sighs> All right, I'm getting very full of corn dogs right about now, but I think we still have like two more to go. So let's head to the fifth stop. All right, so we just stopped by the fifth stop, which was Bazak Bazak. I don't know how to say it. If you guys know how to say it, then please let me know in the comments because I'm pretty sure I'm butchering it. <laughs> This place is actually in the food court of the H Mart in San Jose. I went ahead and got their best seller, which was of course half mozzarella, half sausage. I noticed that at pretty much every single place, that's like their best seller. And then I also added the potato on the outside. And of course it's coated in sugar. It smells so good. It smells like fries, you know, but then it also smells like sugar. So it's very interesting. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a bite. so crunchy. The outer layer with all the potatoes is so thick. I didn't get the cheese yet. That cheese pull was not it either. Let's try again for the third time. Hmm. There's definitely cheese in there, but it's not stretching. Okay. One last try. One last try. It wasn't meant to be, clearly. I gave it four bites looking for that cheese pull. That's super weird because all of them probably use like the same mozzarella, right? Or at least similar. So that's really weird that I couldn't get a cheese pull out of this one. And now I'm also realizing that I probably should have put some ketchup. So let me do that now. I had a feeling I was missing something before I bit into it and it was this ketchup. Mm. Mm. I do actually very much enjoy it with the ketchup probably because it's potatoes on the outside <laughs> so from what i can tell the batter does look a lot more bready not as light as myungrang i do enjoy the potatoes i feel like the sugar works well with it but i do think that i would prefer it without the sugar next time just because i think that the sugar takes away from the flavor of the potatoes and the potatoes are very very crispy it adds this like extra crispiness but not really like the ramen one we had earlier i prefer a potato coating over a ramen coating i feel like the hot dog they use here is actually like a turkey hot dog i don't think it's a beef hot dog it's less juicy and i do like turkey hot dogs but i feel like for this purpose a beef hot dog would be better but yeah overall i would say i would rate the batter since it's like so bready i would probably give it like a six and then the overall flavor, I feel like the best thing was actually the potatoes and how crispy it was. But other than that, it was kind of just okay. So I think without the potatoes, I would probably give it like a six, but the potatoes are really good. So I would bump it up to a seven. So we have one more stop on this Korean corn dog journey. So let's head to the last stop.
Okay, so we just stopped by the last stop, which was Jiangsujang next door. And if you guys live in the South Bay, you guys probably have heard of Jiangsujang. It's a very well-known Korean restaurant that's been around for a really long time. And in recent years, they've opened like a street food kind of style restaurant, like more of like a grab and go kind of place right next to their Jong Su Jong Mopedis location. So at this one, I ended up getting something different. I actually got their American cheese wrapped hot dog. So at the other places, we would get like a half mozzarella, half sausage, but this one is actually, the cheese is wrapped around the hot dog. Gotta remember to put some ketchup on it. Look at that, oh my gosh, it looks and smells super good. Let's go ahead and try it. Mmm, ooh. That is really good. I like the batter here, actually. It's light and crispy. It's not too thick, which I've realized throughout filming this video that I don't like the ones that are too thick and too bready or doughy. You can see that cheese in there wrapped around the hot dog. It's actually really good to get a cheesy bite with each bite of the hot dog. Cause the other ones, it was always like the cheese and the hot dog were separate, but this one, it's like they're together and it's really good. I am a fan. So overall, I'd say for this one, I'd give the batter like a 8.5. I think it's pretty high up there. And for the overall flavor, I'd probably give it an 8.5 as well, just because I do like having the cheese and the hot dog together. And that was like what was unique about this one. So yeah, this was really yummy. I am way too full of Korean corn dogs now. I will display the overall ratings right here. And yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell so you get notified when I upload. Give this video a thumbs up. And here's today's comment shout out. Thank you so much for your support. And if you wanna be in the next video's comment shout out, make sure you comment something down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Dude, my car right now. Look at this. Um. Um. Ah! And in recent years, they've opened, and in recent years, they've been, and in recent years, they've opened, um, and in recent years, more than just a donut, more like, should just stay a donut. <laughs>